Leaders at Fort Hood have been implementing changes on post, part of its People First initiative. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler shows us how civilians are helping. Officers with the 3rd Cavalry Regiment on Fort Hood were introduced to a new training program aimed at improving how they communicate with their soldiers. As part of Fort Hood's People First initiative, they're working to build back trust and readiness among the troops. That's why they brought in readiness and resilience folks who actually happen to be civilians and sports psychology experts. There is benefit in having, you know, senior leaders or other people who are soldiers as well because they have the same shared experience talking, but I think it's also good to have uh, people from outside, uh, so that way we get the you know the perspective from another source. It's not just the same as always. The goal to bring a new perspective on communication and one that the three CR leaders are eager to hear. I think that uh, when you have outside eyes looking in, they're able to see problems that maybe we're not able to see when we're functioning, you know, with our guys. One of the major aspects of this training is learning how to better criticize and effectively praise by adding reasoning and not just a simple attaboy. Some, some troopers just kind of get it automatically, some just need a little bit more coaching or they just need to be told directly, but you know, when someone knows the why they're doing it, that kind of then motivates them to actually do it or you know, they have that sense of purpose. The R2 trainers will be embedded with 3CR for several months to help improve communication skills as well as the mental and physical aspects of PT and combat training. A welcomed effort to the leaders who say they know they have some things to work on. Probably my, uh, my demeanor, I, uh, I get told I'm stoic a lot. so. Uh, portraying that what I'm actually feeling sometimes I think troopers get confused. I would say uh, giving effective praise and effective criticism also the emotional and behavior you know the difference. The R2 trainers will be working with whole groups as well as one-on-one -on -one and even offer help and support to families if they need it. Members of the R2 team will be embedded throughout the regiment and that's something they and the troopers are looking forward to. At Fort Hood, Adam Schindler, 25 News.